Hey everyone, in this video we are signing up for a Hotmail account. So we're going to start by typing in hotmail.com. And as you can see, it rerouted to outlook.live.com. And that's because Microsoft owns Hotmail. Um, but I also wanted to show you that if you decided to sign up for Outlook, it would also take you to that same sign-in screen. So we're going to go outlook.com. And in just a second here, it will also route us to that same sign-in screen that we got for Hotmail. So regardless of whether you want to sign up for Outlook or Hotmail, it's going to go to the same place. And so we're going to go ahead and just create a free account here. And Jessica is going to be nice enough to enter her information as she's done in the other videos. And so this is what it's going to look like when you start the process for signing up for a Hotmail or Outlook account. And on this screen, you can see we have the option there that you can have it end in Hotmail.com or Outlook.com. It doesn't matter. Either one will take you to the same inbox. And unlike the other email providers, Yahoo, Gmail, AOL, this one allows you to pick out your username first before you enter any information. As before, Jessica's using this for personal uh, school and work, so she just picked her first, middle, and last name with a period in between each. She's going to go ahead and show her password again using that uh, password that's easy for her to remember, making it difficult for other people to guess by using a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. She did elect to show it so that she can make sure she is typing it correctly because you definitely don't want to lock yourself out of your account before you even get a chance to use it. Uh, receiving tips and information is optional, so she's going to go ahead and uncheck that so she doesn't want to receive those emails. Clicking Next. And now Microsoft is going to start asking information from you, such as your first and last name. And Jessica is going to go ahead and type that in there for us. And now we will move on to the next screen. And it's going to want to know um, which country or region you're in and your birth date. And so then after this, we'll move on to the next screen. And unlike um, AOL and Yahoo and occasionally Gmail, Microsoft does not ask for a phone number. So if you don't have a phone available to you or you'd prefer not to give an email user or email provider a phone number, this is a great option for you. So now Microsoft is creating her email. And then in a second here, we are going to see a new screen load. And instead of asking for that phone number to verify that she is not a bot and is a human, it's going to have her solve a puzzle. It is a fairly easy puzzle. And it just wants her to rotate the image until the chicken is standing upright. And if you don't get it right on the first try, it does allow you to do it again and it times you each time. Uh, looks like she did it right on the first time, so the account is being created. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds, usually no longer than a minute, depending on your connection. And the email account is loading. And in just a second here, it will take us to our inbox. I did notice that with um, creating this account that it did take just a little bit longer to get everything in place than the others, but here we are. This is what your Outlook or Hotmail inbox will look like. Pretty standard basic inbox. And again, it is taking a little longer to load than the other ones. And there is a lot kind of a uh, to look at there, but that is your welcome email. So any emails you get will be shown right there. And after you've had a chance to look around, you're ready to sign out. You'll select the little button that has your uh, initials up there in the corner. Click that. And unfortunately, it kind of covers it up, but sign out is right underneath that uh, uh, little bar that reads account manager for Jessica Williams. So we'll click sign out. And again, a little slower signs out 